Today on Bakes and Blenders, you're going to learn how to make thick, chewy cookies that are loaded with buttery pistachios, giant chunks of chocolate, and flavored with a dash of cardamom. So if you're excited, let's get started. First thing we need to do is mix up our dry ingredients, then set that aside for later. Now it's time to cream together our butter, our dark brown sugar, and our white sugar. Keep your mixer on the lowest two settings. We want our butter and sugars to cream together, get well combined, nice and smooth, but we're not trying to incorporate a lot of air or get a fluffy texture. Then we can mix in our vanilla and then our egg. Remember to frequently scrape down your bowl during this process. And if you wanna see a more in-depth video about how I make my drop cookies, make sure to check out my freeze and bake walnut chocolate chip cookies. I'll post a link to the video and the recipe in the description box below. Add your dry ingredients and mix until it is just almost combined. When you can only see a few streaks of flour, that's when we're gonna add our chunky ingredients. Add the chocolate chunks and the pistachios and mix until only just combined. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. Now it's time to scoop our dough. I like to use a size 20 cookie scoop to portion out my dough. For me, this is the perfect size. Just use your scoop to portion out your dough onto a tray because we are going to be freezing it soon. You can find links to the products that I've used in the description box below this video. Okay, now that our cookie dough is all scooped out, we are going to make our cookies look gorgeous by topping them with chunks of chocolate and chopped pistachios. There's really no rhyme or reason to this process. Just chuck a couple of the chunky ingredients on each ball of dough until it looks gorgeous and scrumptious. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Once you've finished topping your cookies, place them in the freezer for just an hour. Then we can go ahead and take the semi-frozen cookie dough balls out of the freezer and transfer them to a freezer bag. A gallon size works best for me. These cookie dough balls will keep in the freezer for at least up to three months. Whenever you're ready, just take them straight out of the freezer and bake them from frozen. Place your frozen cookie dough balls onto a baking sheet lined with a silicone baking mat or parchment paper and bake until they are lightly golden brown around the edges. And as a little tip, whenever I try a new drop cookie recipe, I like to bake just a single test cookie first to find the optimal bake time for it. The first thing that hits you with these cookies is the cardamom. It's going to make your house smell so delicious and cozy. Then when you take a bite, you get the buttery pistachio, the gooey melty chocolate. It just comes together in this luscious, delicious, decadent cookie. Thanks so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to check out my cookie playlist, which is on the screen right now. Happy baking, and I'll see you in the next one.